What does your version of, I guess, chaos look like if you had, if you'd initially planned out a day? What would take you away from your regularly scheduled programming? Um, I guess chaos would be, so I like to have visibility and have a plan of what my day is going to look like. I know mm. it's not going to go down to a T, but say, for example, if I had the three cases and then I get a call three hours before and it's the hospital saying, hey, your kit or your implants aren't arrived, mm. then you go into panic you mode and, and you're like, oh, you got to troubleshoot and yeah. then you've got to think what well, hospitals are around there. Where can I get this from? How do I get this there in time to be sterilized or in time for the case? So is there a level of you having to liaise with, I guess, people within a customer service company for the medical device within your company that you work for and then also a logistics manager of some sort or would you just be the mm. person handling all the logistics if that was to arise? No, so I guess you sort of have to triage. You have to find out the facts because if I call customer service, I'll say, yep, it was delivered. And then from there, I know that it's somewhere in the hospital. Okay. If they say we have no record of it being delivered, then I go the ACSA scheduling or yeah, logistics or something like that. And then sort of detect a soul from there. <laughs>